Hi guys! In this tutorial, I'll teach you all about the new Texture Transform tool in Marvelous Designer 7. So here we've got a bunch of patterns and we've got the default fabric applied to them. I'm going to load in a texture by clicking on the texture icon here and load in this image as a seamless texture. Click open and there it's applied to my patterns. To transform this texture, I'll take this tool, which is the Texture Transform tool, and let's say I want to move the texture around on this pattern here. Well, you can either click once and then drag, or you can click once, and then when you get that move icon, then you can drag to move it around on the pattern. If you want to scale your texture, there are several scaling controls here. This one scales it evenly, so you can see if I scale it up, the smiley faces, the stars, are all still keeping their proportions. If you use this scaling option, you can see they get really stretched vertically. And this scaling option will stretch them horizontally. If you want to rotate a texture which is applied on one of the pattern pieces, click on that texture, then you'll see this line icon appears. And when you hover over the dots on the tips, you get this rotate icon and then you can rotate the texture on that pattern piece. As you can see, only this texture and this pattern is rotating. If you want to rotate this texture across all the patterns that it's applied to, click on any of the patterns and then use this rotate option to rotate the texture across all the patterns. If you hold down shift while you're rotating, it will snap to horizontal and vertical axis. So let's say we've rotated it like this, and now we want to undo the rotation. And maybe we can't use the Control z key because we've done all kinds of other things to our patterns, and we just want to reset the rotation. To do that, right-click on your patterns and say Reset Fabric Angle. And there you can see it all snaps back to the way it was when we applied it. The Reset Fabric Angle only works if you rotated the textures using this rotation tool. If you used the individual rotation tool on one of the patterns and then you try saying reset fabric angle, nothing is going to happen. If you wanted to reset this texture to be horizontal, like it initially was, try the align grain x-axis or y-axis option. If we use the x-axis option, you can see aligning this texture vertically. So in this case, let's select the y-axis. And there we see we now have it nice and straight, like it initially was. Now if I were to use this general rotation on this texture, and then try to say align y-axis or align x-axis, nothing would happen. Because if you use this rotation option, you have to use the reset fabric angle to bring it back to the way it was, instead of the align grain x-axis and y-axis. When a texture is applied, as you can see, it runs horizontal to the bottom segment line of that pattern that it's applied to. Like here, you can see the stars are running straight, but here, because the pattern is rotated, they're running in an angle. If I were to rotate this pattern, you'd see the same effect applied to it. Now, what if we want this pattern to be rotated like that, but we want the stars to run straight horizontally across it, like they're doing here? To do that, I'm going to take my Edit Texture tool, right click, and say either align grain to the x-axis or to y-axis, depending on the effect I want. Let's try the x-axis. Now you can see they're running straight down, and they're not minding the angle of this pattern. If I say align to y-axis, they're also running straight horizontally across, like they are doing here, even though the pattern is rotated at an angle. And if you wanted this to run parallel to the bottom of this pattern again, well, if you say reset fabric angle, nothing is going to happen. So you need to manually rotate it around to the desired angle, like that. The other options, when you right-click on the texture, include to delete the texture, which deletes it from this fabric. You see, I do that. It's gone on all the patterns that it was applied to, and it's no longer here. So let's undo that. The other option is to flip it horizontally, which flips it around like that, or flip it vertically, which will flip it upside down. The zoom to select it will zoom in to the object that you've selected. This works with the Texture Transform tool or with the Transform Pattern tool, 
any tool that you can select a pattern with. So if we click that, it has that fill the screen. When you right click, there's also an option of reset to basic fabric and assign to new fabric. If we say reset to basic fabric, it will reset this fabric to the way it was before we did any changes to it. Let's undo that. Assigned to new fabric, if we click on that, you can see a new fabric is created and assigned to this pattern piece. So let's go ahead and load in a different texture. And there the texture is now applied to this. Let's just drag and drop that onto another two patterns. And then check out what the last option, select all of same property, fabric does. So as you can see, we have three patterns with this texture applied. When I select this option, select all of same property fabric, it selects all of these three patterns. The same with these textures, it will select all of those three. And then you can do whatever you want. You can apply a different fabric to them, or you can even delete those patterns. Or you can right click and say assign to new fabric, which will generate a new fabric and assign it to those three patterns. So that's basically how to use a new texture transform tool in Marvelous Designer 7. I hope this tutorial helps you.